everyone. Hey, I bought a Hobie Cat and I need a trailer for it. I looked around and I didn't like what I found, so I decided to build one. This little utility trailer turned out to be ideal. I'm going to show you how to build it. Fortunately, this little utility trailer was on sale at Harbor Freight. For $300, this was an amazing value. Four foot by eight foot, 12 inch wheels with a 1200 pound load capacity. All the parts are here, but it's a real erector set. Lots of nuts and bolts. If you expect to get done in a reasonable time of about four hours, you need a power ring. Or at the very least, a manual ratchet. Otherwise, you're gonna be swinging wrenches for eight hours or more. The trailer deck is easy. It's a 4x8 sheet of treated plywood straight from the lumber yard. Once we get to this point, it's time to think about a design to put on that upper deck so that we can adapt it to the Hobie Bravo. It seems like a logical design for this would have gutters for the hulls to slide onto and have outboard rails. Then taking advantage of the space between the hulls, we can make a storage area the full length of the trailer. Those rails are installed at a 15 degree angle. This is so that when you slide your catamaran onto the trailer, it'll sit in position firmly without being crimped. For ease of construction, it was necessary to develop a plan. By isolating each component and printing it out separately, we were able to make templates so that when we had repeated multiple parts, they were easy and accurate to cut out. We assembled the side rail to the gutter rail and installed it onto the trailer. We thought it best that we do a test fit. Here you can see the hull is very lightweight. Eventually, I took a belt sander to the side rails to create a little bit more room for the wide beam of the boat. The next thing was to cut out the rest of the parts. We used all treated lumber and corrosion proof textures. fast, easy, and elegant way to finish the top side of the trailer is to install indoor-outdoor carpet. Carlos here is giving this project a professional touch. This is going to give it a smooth, weather-resistant surface, and it's going to give great protection to the already rugged Hobiecat Bravo's roto-molded hull. guys that's about it I hope you had fun watching that video I'm gonna cut it short here but I'd still like to point out a couple of details that I think you might be interested in first the way to stow the mast on the trailer I've come up with some ideas there secondly how to build that hatch on the front and the back but most importantly the third feature came with the trailer originally it was designed to fold up and store in your garage as a result it has the tilt feature that we can take advantage of you can see here that it's easy to handle as you tilt the bow up. It stays well balanced.
If you're interested in the additional details about stowing the mast and building the hatches, um, keep tuned. I have another video that's even more boring than this one.